Well, I figured it was time to do a video update on the Plymouth here. As you can see, we're making some progress. Get the hood ornament on. Got another one of these uh, pieces of trim on. Got her all polished up. And uh, got it all cleaned out. Now, this car was pretty dirty inside. Now it's dirty with parts, but uh, the door sounds healthy. You can see we're getting somewhere. Headliners in pretty good shape. And you've got uh, that glove box. That's doing well. Got a latch for that. It's the wrong one. Forgot to send it back. I did get some gauge covers. Just the glass and the housing. I think the gauges are probably okay. So, try and show you this. I need to polish them out a little bit. I don't know if you can see on here, but uh, somebody's been trying to clean on them a little bit. It just doesn't doesn't look very good, but uh, you know we're making progress here. Got my front balance patch and uh, found a few concerning issues with the doors. I don't know if you can see down in there that that hinge is pooched. I think that pin's just broken, so I'll have to fix that. But I've uh, been putting chalk down in here to make sure the car stays dry any place that I can't stop it from leaking. And I'm going to get this covered up as well. But I went through and siliconed up all the holes in the windshield gasket. You can see that worked pretty well. Got to fix this drip rail. I think these drip rails on here were just uh, attached with that seam sealer, which seems a little weird to me. But, uh, so it is. Uh, cut off the shin buster here. I uh, did a pretty good ding on my shin about four or five times here. That's just barely healing up, so I finally got pissed off enough to get the plasma cutter out and hack it off. Got the tail lights in with the lenses. Had to uh, locate a housing. That was about 15 bucks. That seller was pretty awesome. And he actually sent me a reverse light lens too for free. So got both of those in. And they're not perfect, but uh, hey, it's better than not having them at all. And trunk is getting full of leaves again because it's not latching correctly but you see this if I let go I don't know if you can see this that thing will come down and crack you in the noggin so what I found is this uses a torsion bar type suspension for the uh, trunk lid and one of them is broken up in here so I just went ahead and got the whole hinge and uh, sitting here at the hinge and then uh, I probably won't use this hinge but I needed one of these pins here for the hood hinges because somebody took my hood hinge uh, springs off and then they wore out my hood hinges and uh, so those are gonna need to be fixed and you can see the floor in here is pretty healthy but I'll fabricate that it's actually solid from about here back you know we'll take up to here and fix all that but all in all surprisingly you know this trunk floor is looking really solid and you can see down in here the spare tire carrier is really solid I thought that would be rotted right through because there's no drain in there and it was full of crap and you can see back here I've got a couple of brake drums well I found out somebody had swapped these brake drums on this car from an older Dodge which is fine. I don't care about that because I can probably use them on my 46 or a customer's car, but I went ahead and pulled this whole unit because we were in a hurry and I could not get this drum off the backing plate. I do need an anti-vibration spring for this one, but uh, you know, we'll come up with that. And uh, I don't know, what else can I update you on here? You can see this trunk lid's not shutting correctly. Driver's door, surprisingly, is uh, the one that works the best, you know. 
Dort's used the most, and she matches just beautifully. I know everybody's got their favorite brand of special sauce, but uh, I got in here and shot these with something I've really come to like. It's called CRC Freeze Off. And this door actually holds itself open too. But uh, that CRC Freeze Off did a hell of a job. So, um, what else was I gonna update you? Oh yeah, the tires. I got tires to put on it. These are just some I had sitting around. So I went ahead and mounted them up. I'm still trying to find lugs, or excuse me, not lug nuts, but uh, hubcaps. I am missing lug nuts too, but I've got a few of those. I can get those on Rock Auto. And I've got one leaky valve stem here. So I think, yeah, this one's still got a tube in it. In fact, I think all these got tubes. I need to get some air in this, but uh, I'll probably just take that tube out and put a valve stem in here and run it without a tube. These are radial tires anyway, so not supposed to run tubes in radials. I'll try and give you the overview of the whole car here so you can see how she looks. So that's it for the Plymouth. I hope you guys like that. And I figure a little bonus content would be the old 48 Dodge here. She's finally almost ready to go home. Let's get this cover off the windshield so you can see her and all of her magnificence. Had the customer come over on this the other day. And he was just absolutely thrilled. We got tires mounted up on her. She's looking really good. So, next on this car, it's gonna be to finish up the rear brakes. We've had a hell of a time with the brakes too. All the way from, uh, you know, getting the wrong spring parts for the return springs on the shoes to having rotted out pins for the wheel cylinders. I mean, it's been a real fight. And uh, we ended up getting the wrong springs and they were an inch and a half short and had to reorder them for Mopar Pro and he was awesome. Sent him out in three days from New York to Utah. So you can't argue with that. And his price was the same as uh, burn bombs. So, but uh, yeah, she's doing really good. Got these tires from the neighbor. She had these just sitting there, didn't need them. And they're brand new. Got them for 200 bucks. What a screaming deal. And what else? Four fab is all done. Maybe a little dirty in here. Yes, a little bit of water getting in here because his uh, wind lace is not good. But uh, you can see the floor fab's all done. Don't let this dirt in here fool you. It makes that floor look uneven, worse than it is. But got the uh, brake pedal bushings done. So these are all done. And uh, just got to put the pins on, rebolt the master cylinder down, and then uh, we'll be in the rear brakes. And, oh, I gotta put the springs on here. So, we'll get all that done and do all the touch up on here. And then, as you can see, we've got some wiring issues. And she doesn't wanna start because the wiring is all wacky. So as soon as I hook up the battery, it tries to start itself like Christine. So, we gotta get a few more things taken care of in that way. And I'm trying to get rid of this stupid knob he put on here. That looks absolutely ridiculous. But uh, you can see all this stuff in here is parts. But all in all, this is a pretty sweet car. I think she's even got the uh, fold down armrest in the back, unless that's just center separation for bucket seats. I don't know. But uh, we got a finished glass on here. It needs upholstery. And then I'm trying to convince him to clear coat this car. So we'll try and keep you updated on this. I just haven't been filming a lot lately. I'm having a hell of a time with editing software and everything and smashed my truck and had to rebuild the whole front end of it. So I'll show you that real quick. Did a good dinger on here when I was bringing the Plymouth in. Backed right into my gate post. So that was awesome. And then I've been having struggles with tires. Found out I had a broken wheel uh, day before yesterday. And so... Uh, then last night, 
I managed to back into a tree branch off-road. Me and my daughter were testing out the uh, new tires, well, the new used tires. Bent the crap out of that, so it's just been fantastic. But I'll give you a little overview here in closing what we're working on here, not the garbage can. Uh, this Clark forklift is going to be an upcoming project. I need to do a lot of repairs on this. Figured you guys would want to see that. The old WC is coming along. Got the other tire mounted. And yeah, working on two more. And then uh, I got this uh, headlight bracket all done. Going to make me a rubber grommet to go underneath there. And to uh, finish that bucket out. So like comment subscribe hope you guys are enjoying the content i'm trying to bring it to you as fast as i can next up is repairing this poor jeep we've dropped a lifter i don't know if it was low oil pressure or what did it but uh, right after we finished the lift on the front of this that lifter just absolutely took a crap so i'm just going to go through and change everything on it redo lifters new cam timing set bottom end bearings brand new high flow melling oil pump you name it She's getting it. She deserves it. 282,000 miles. She deserves it. So, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.